Okay, so today I'm gonna go ahead and do a tool review on the Harbor Freight 11 function digital multimeter. And yeah, let's dive right into it. So this is the multimeter right here. And it runs you about $22.99 if you get it not on sale. So, this is what it comes with. It comes with some leads that I'd say are about three feet long. And it comes with a temperature probe. And it comes with an user manual. It's pretty nice. It has a diagram. Tells you what everything does. Labels it all out. And yeah, let's dive into some of the functions of this thing. Okay, so we're going to go over like a quick overview on this. We got the direct volt section. So it goes from 200 millivolts to 1,000 volts. It goes from 700 to 2 of alternating current volts. You got your little temperature thing. You got your transistor section. And then you have your alternating current amps right here. And then your direct current amps right here. And then this is for testing, I think, capacitors. Yeah, frequency section and your continuity section. Mainly what I use on these are continuity, volts, and amps. And down here, you got your 20 amp fused, which you're gonna use for when you're seeing how many amps people are drawing. Um, yeah, and then you got your common, positive lead, and then when you're testing milliamps, and it's... Okay, so this, I do like it. It does come with this big rubber, rubber case to kind of protect it when you drop it, and it just slides right in and hops in. Um, also, when you're, say you're got both hands busy and you're using these and you don't have time to hold this or an extra hand to hold this you can flip the screen up just kind of tilts up and down like that which is convenient and yeah let's get right into some of the functions so obviously I use a lot of the voltage gauge another thing that's nice about this is if you're tracking down wires in a car it's got a continuity like alarm buzzer so it beeps that's pretty nice and one thing i'd recommend getting with this is i got this kit and it's got clip attachments, whole separate wires, and then just a bunch of these little pins, some little, little alligator clips that all clip onto your leads. And yeah, it's pretty convenient. Okay, so right now we got the little temperature sensor plugged in and it just plugs into that jack right there and you turn the dial and this is in degrees Celsius and you can see we'll pinch the sensor and it'll start warming up pretty rapidly. You let go and it starts to cool down. 
That's a pretty um, interesting feature. Haven't used it yet, but. So another thing I use this multimeter for is um, draw, testing draw. You know, if you have a car, that's battery goes dead overnight or in a few days or so. And say you're, you eliminated it down and your radio is actually creating the draw. But basically just telling how many amps something's pulling up to 20 amps. So this is my setup. Like I said, I bought this kit off of Amazon. I'll link it in the description. It's a pretty nice kit. Comes with a lot of stuff. Comes with these things that are fused at 15 amps. They don't fry your um, tool. Comes with these little wire grabbers. So you can grab into the wires. Comes with a lot of, a lot of different things that are useful. Yeah, okay, so back to this. Yeah, I really like these leads and these little alligator, bigger alligator clips. So, and then this whole um, amp setting, I use it a lot on vehicles. When customers come in and complain that there's a draw so I actually wired this inline fuse up so I won't fry my multimeter. So it's just got a 10 amp fuse and you hook this up to the positive terminal on the battery and then you hook up this to the positive battery term battery wire that's on the car. And then you can see how many amps are running through the, like say you open the door and the interior light comes on, you can see how many amps that's pulling. But that's a useful feature that I use. And um, so my overall review on this is it's definitely done the job, fixed lots of vehicles, diagnosed lots of problems on it, even used it in my house. Um, Definitely buy it again for $23. I don't think you can go too wrong. Um, yeah, I've had it for about two years now. Been using it not every day, but probably least every other day. And it's lasted. I replaced the battery probably like twice in it. Um, just takes a standard little nine volt battery. Yeah, I'd, I'd definitely buy it again if this one broke. Okay. That's my thoughts on it, and yeah.